Elon Musk has just exposed a jaw-dropping new milestone. His commercial space revenue is set to surpass NASA's entire annual budget next year. That's something we've never seen before. It's part of a much bigger shift. The private sector is now dominating the space race. And while this might seem like great news for NASA, giving them access to more advanced and affordable launch options, it also shines a spotlight on a much bigger issue. Because SpaceX's runaway success isn't just impressive, it's revealing. There's a massive elephant in the room at NASA, something the agency has quietly sidestepped for decades. But now, Elon Musk has brought it front and center. So what exactly is going on behind the scenes? Let's dive into the full story, right here in today's episode of TechMap. According to Elon Musk's recent tweet, SpaceX is projected to generate around $15.5 billion in revenue this year. That marks a steady increase from the estimated $13 billion to $14 billion in 2024. This upward trend continues to be fueled largely by the growth of Starlink and the company's launch services. In particular, Starlink is expected to bring in $11.8 billion, a sharp rise from the $8.2 billion it made last year. This figure includes income from consumer subscriptions, hardware sales, and government contracts. Meanwhile, revenue from launch services is set to grow from $4.2 billion to $5.5 billion, covering both commercial and governmental launches, with NASA alone contributing $1.1 billion. Additional revenue streams like research and development in spacesuits will add approximately $600 million. Clearly, Starlink has emerged as the primary driver of the company's financial success, fueled by growing global demand for satellite internet. This is a major milestone, not just for SpaceX, but for the entire space industry. For some perspective, NASA's total budget in 2024 was $25.5 billion, and it's expected to drop to $18.8 billion by 2026. Based on current projections, that budget is unlikely to rise significantly before 2030. In contrast, SpaceX's revenue is climbing rapidly and is poised to surpass NASA's annual budget as soon as next year. SpaceX's potential growth has also shown in the fact that very few shareholders are willing to part with their stock, according to Elon Musk. It's hard to believe that just 23 years ago, SpaceX consisted basically of carpet and a mariachi band an abstract way of saying that they were nothing to NASA at the time. They didn't even reach orbit until September 2008 with the Falcon 1 and came dangerously close to collapse after multiple failed launches. Without successful launches, there's no revenue. At the rock bottom, SpaceX relied heavily on NASA funding and contracts to survive. Musk himself must personally invest tens of millions to keep the company afloat. Their first major NASA deal came in 2006 through the Commercial Orbital Transportation Services Program, which awarded them $278 million to develop the Falcon 9 rocket and the Dragon spacecraft. The real turning point came in late 2008 when they launched Falcon 1 successfully and secured a $1.6 billion commercial resupply services contract with NASA, a deal that ultimately saved the company. SpaceX had later evolved Falcon 1 into the more capable Falcon 9 and was racking up achievements that laid the groundwork for even bigger ambitions. Around that time, Musk and his team started working on what would become Starlink. They began development at a facility in Redmond, Washington, which today serves as the hub for Starlink's research, production, and satellite operations. Musk first teased the concept in January 2015 though the name Starlink wasn't made official until later. The first prototype satellites, Tintin A and Tintin B, launched in February 2018, and the first operational batch followed in May 2019. As of June 2025, Starlink has been under development for just over 10 years and now includes nearly 8,000 satellites in orbit as of March. 
the consistent substantial revenue it generates has helped transform SpaceX from a company once dependent on NASA into a diversified space enterprise with a range of income streams. This evolution has been good news for both SpaceX and NASA. SpaceX's success has brought down the cost of space launches and made access to space more attainable. That's allowed NASA to reallocate its budget from expensive launch systems to science and exploration missions. Additionally, NASA's commercial cargo and crew programs, largely carried out by SpaceX, have restored America's ability to send astronauts to the ISS from U.S. soil, ending its reliance on international partners. Thanks to SpaceX's advancements in reusability and its rapid development cycles, the entire aerospace sector has been pushed to innovate, which in turn supports NASA's own missions. Their mutually beneficial partnership lets NASA tap into private sector agility while staying focused on bold goals like the Artemis lunar missions and future Mars expeditions. Still, SpaceX's extraordinary rise also casts an unintended spotlight on some of the inefficiencies within NASA's internal operations. First, let's talk launch costs. SpaceX's Falcon 9 costs about $62 million per launch, while NASA's SLS rockets, a jaw-dropping $4 billion. And it gets even more wild. A 2022 study revealed that SpaceX is not only 10 times cheaper, but also has 30 times fewer cost overruns than NASA when sending payloads to space. That's not just an advantage, it's a revolution. While NASA has been struggling to get its massive orange SLS rocket off the ground for just a second time, SpaceX has been launching at breakneck speed. Since its first launch in March 2006, up to June 2025, the Falcon family has taken off 500 times, averaging one launch every 14 days for nearly two decades. On one side, you have launches that take years to prepare. On the other, SpaceX fires rockets nearly twice a month, and their pace is only accelerating. In 2020 and 2021, they had 26 and 31 launches. By 2022, they broke records with 61 launches. That shot up to 96 in 2023, including the first few Starship flights. And in 2024, a staggering 134 launches. Now in 2025, they're aiming for 170. That's nearly one launch every other day. At the core of this launch frenzy is the Falcon 9's design goal. Low cost, rapid reusability. Just look at the math. NASA's space shuttle cost about $1.5 billion per flight. Falcon 9? Just $15 million in operational costs per launch. That's 1% of the price, and it flies 30 times more often, breaking that $15 million down. $10 million is spent on building a brand new second stage, which isn't reusable. And $5 million goes toward things like fuel, recovery, and refurbishment. But here's where it gets brilliant. SpaceX charges customers at least $50 million for a reused Falcon 9 flight. That number has risen over time, and it helps fund mega projects like Starlink and Starship. Let's run the numbers. If SpaceX launches two reused Falcon 9 rockets in a row, they make about $110 million from customers, but spend only $65 million to do it. That means they earn about $45 million in profit. And if one booster can fly 10 times, the total cost for those flights is about $210 million, meaning SpaceX can basically launch its own Starlink satellites for free using the extra capacity. What's the secret sauce? Elon Musk once explained that booster refurbishment involves deep inspections like X-raying the fuel tanks, cleaning the landing legs, and unclogging Merlin engines. Kerosene is a messy fuel, yet the whole process is surprisingly simple, with refurbishment costs as low as $250 per booster. Most of the hardware stays flight ready with minimal tweaks. Only certain parts, like turbines, need occasional replacement. Now let's talk innovation. SpaceX doesn't just move fast, they move at warp speed. 
take the Polaris Dawn mission in September 2024. It featured the first ever commercial spacewalk, accomplished for a fraction of NASA's price tag. Meanwhile, NASA's Artemis program has been plagued by delays. Artemis 3 is now postponed until 2027. Finally, mission outcomes. NASA has a storied history. Think Hubble, the Mars rovers, and the International Space Station. But SpaceX is catching up fast. They've already flown astronauts to the ISS, launched thousands of Starlink satellites, and are working on Starship, which could take humans to Mars. The best part? SpaceX's success is forcing NASA to innovate. They're now partnering with private companies more than ever. But the question remains, if SpaceX can do this with a fraction of the budget, why are we pouring billions into a bloated system? Don't get me wrong, NASA has an incredible legacy. They landed humans on the moon in 1969 with Apollo 11, and they've inspired generations. But here's the thing. NASA's budget and how they spend it has some serious issues. In 2024, NASA's budget ballooned to $25.5 billion. That's a 51.7% increase since 2019, according to the NASA Transition Authorization Act of 2025. But a lot of that money isn't going to cutting-edge missions. Take the Office of STEM Engagement, for example. They spent $143.5 million on feel-good programs in 2024. Now, STEM education is awesome, but when taxpayers are footing the bill, shouldn't that money go toward actual space exploration? And here's the kicker. The White House just proposed slashing NASA's 2026 budget to $18.8 billion, a huge drop from $25 billion. Why? Because private companies like SpaceX are proving they can do more with less. NASA's also bogged down by bureaucracy. Every year their budget has to go through Congress. And if it's not approved by October 1st, NASA can't even pay its employees. The National Space Agency also faces intense scrutiny and pressure to avoid failures because it uses taxpayer money, and every failure can lead to congressional hearings and investigations. That's a lot of red tape slowing things down. So what does the dominance of SpaceX mean for the future of space exploration? SpaceX's rise is a wake-up call. Their $15.5 billion revenue in 2025, set to surpass NASA's budget in 2026, proves that the private sector can deliver results without the bureaucratic baggage. But NASA still has a role to play. A 2023 Pew Research survey found that 65% of Americans believe NASA is essential for space exploration, even with private companies in the game. NASA's strength is in big, risky science like studying distant galaxies or landing rovers on Mars, stuff that might not have immediate commercial value but pushes human knowledge forward. The real win here might be collaboration. NASA and SpaceX are already working together on missions like the Artemis program, where SpaceX's Starship will help land astronauts on the moon. If we can combine SpaceX's efficiency with NASA's scientific expertise, we could see a new golden age of space exploration. But that means slashing red tape and rethinking how we spend taxpayer money. What do you think? Is SpaceX the future and does NASA still have a critical role? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I can't wait to hear what you think. SpaceX's success isn't just redefining space, it's inspiring a new wave of competitors. Take Sierra Space, for example. Their Dream Chaser space plane is still in its early operational stages, with its first cargo missions to the International Space Station set to begin in 2025. So far, Sierra Space has raised a solid $1.7 billion in private funding and secured $3.4 billion in active contracts, including NASA's commercial resupply services. But let's be real, compared to SpaceX's massive and diversified empire, Dream Chaser is still a small player. Dream Chaser is a reusable space plane built for cargo and eventually crew missions. Right now, its primary role is serving NASA's ISS needs, and its launch frequency and contract scope are much more limited compared to SpaceX, which offers a wide range of satellite and launch services. Sierra Space's current valuation of about $5.3 billion 
and its $3.4 billion backlog show strong potential. But that hasn't yet translated into revenues anywhere close to the tens of billions that SpaceX brings in every year. On the flip side, SpaceX's financial engine is powered by a massive launch manifest, government and commercial contracts, and especially Starlink, a game changer for recurring revenue. That combination makes SpaceX a true commercial space powerhouse. For Sierra Space to level up, it needs to move beyond just cargo missions. Growth means expanding into human spaceflight, building commercial space stations, and developing other space infrastructure. But those are longer-term plays.